So in the Center for Cognitive and Advanced Technologies, because a lot of our development work and on the software side is in the areas of artificial intelligence and digital twins, it's all about the kinds of compute necessary to enhance decision making, because that's what we're all about at the, at the center. For us, we always start with the problems we want to solve and from you know, being guided by the center's um, mission is to help people make better decisions. So in terms of high performance compute, quantum computers or quantum, let's say, inspired technologies, uh, what we want to do is to see, to, to help with simulations, for example and uh, optimizations like uh, solving combinatorial optimizations because this will help uh, people to make better decisions if we can simulate what's going on in the future and if we could as well uh, you know, advise on which is the best path when you have those combinatorial optimizations. One of the things that's very much key about Fujitsu's approach to high performance and, and advanced compute in general is a multi-dimensional approach. We're very good on the straightforward HS, HPC, high performance compute. We're also capable of dealing in the space of quantum computing, and we're investigating other novel technologies along the way. So we're taking good care of our customers by looking across the whole spectrum of what's needed for high performance compute, or as I said, also for energy efficient compute. So it's looking at the multiple dimensions. So a couple of factors go into the development of high performance compute and advanced computing in general. One of them is the constant advance of technology. We're getting better and better at the things we already know how to do. That builds us faster chips, that builds us more sophisticated technologies. But there's also the, the research-driven novel technologies. So things like quantum computing, quantum-inspired computing, neuromorphic computing, et cetera. These are the technologies that are coming through with the deep base in research. We've always had a mantra of users, problems, and data. And what we want to see is we want to have people who have challenges come to us with their data and we will approach that problem with whatever technology is best suited to the end business value. We will assess not only the technology and how to solve the problem, but also the direct and indirect business value to the customer. One of my favorite um, examples of what happens when you put together multiple advanced technologies is by using our Fugaku supercomputer in Japan, we simulated thousands and thousands of potential earthquake and tsunami events. Use that information to train artificial neural networks using our advanced AI that allow us then to have basically a laptop or mobile phone based tsunami prediction tool. Another example is to use the high performance compute um, to be able to simulate the propagation of fumes in the Kawasaki Tower in Japan. So that will uh, then that has you know that has informed the um, evacuation route for employees in the, in the building. I think they are the breadth of technologies that Fujitsu can bring is really good from traditional compute, high performance compute, specialized chips like the CMOS that runs on digital annealer, but also uh, quantum computers. Uh, because it's not only the breadth, it's also how we're going to be able to solve a problem using those different hybrid platforms. Sometimes you would you know, start searching for the solution with a kind of annealing approach uh, to kind of find you know, the uh, probabilities you know, the, of the solutions. But then you could use a more exact solver, for example, to refine and, and, and your solution. So it's really yeah. the hybrid that uh, Fujitsu could bring because we have uh, different kind of compute platforms.